Good afternoon. Today I'm out to the lake. Scoot to the side a little bit, let y'all get a view out there. It's here in Kansas. It looks like a Ozark Lake. The houses around it and the docks and stuff, but it's not where it's here in Kansas. It's a, I'm gonna leave the name out of it. People who know who know. I have a friend whose family has a cabin up here on the lake and it's been a long, long time since I've been in it, but Thought I'd come over here today, drive around, look around. Anyway, I'm here about, it's been, it's a Ben Nevis, it's 17, it says on the labels, really good, really clear on this. It is a Highland, it says so on the back, single malt Scotch whiskey. It is a Ben Nevis, it is the exclusive malt, single malt Scotch whiskey. This Ben Nevis is matured in an ex sherry cask. Excuse me. It gives you the distilled date of 21 October 1996 and a bottle of July 2015, cast number 1464, one of 496 bottles. It is bottled at 51.2% alcohol by volume. This has a little 10th anniversary special edition. I assume that's Creative Whiskey Company that, who brings us this. I assume that's their. Uh, 10th anniversary I, when they bottled this that was the year of their 10th anniversary uh, I don't think Ben Nevis normally uses sherry bus so I had sherry finishes on their whiskey I may be wrong I don't know that much about Ben Nevis to be really frankly honest with you uh, this it but from the back this refill X sherry butt has been maturing next to the distillery untouched since 1996. It is a classy example of what this distillery can offer. Anyway, so we've got a little age, a little a little more ABV than your average. So we have a little bit more of everything here. This isn't just your standard 12 year old standard offering. I don't know what else to really say about that. Faux cork. And I've had quite a bit of it. Tell you right now, Sherry's hit me right in the nose. Because the wind's behind me coming from the south and east a little bit. You're looking back north, west, northwest. Uh... It's just it's just awesome stuff. Mm. Uh, I think it <clears throat> I'm not sure, but I believe it's natural color and non chill filtered, even though it doesn't really say so on here. It may have on the box I had, but I, that box is long gone. This I bought right before we moved last summer. So, anyway, it's got a nice light mahogany color. Oh, that sherry! It's 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 a nice sherry. It's got a man. I got everybody coming up down the road, guys. Here comes a TV repair man for somebody. Legs is running real nice and easy down the glass. Nice little almost sheeting action starting. It's just a slow, slow run. I was wrong, it's electric, not not TV. And there's a chopper. That's coming to Fort Riley. You can probably hear it's cutting here a little bit. Mm. Leather, dried freight, <laughs> dried figs, raisins, apricots, all dried. <sighs> mm. 
then the fruits bounded back by that leathery woody note that comes along with it mm. I love that that syrupy simple syrup sweetness confectionery almost but it's a dense confectionery it's not a light confectionery leading into fruits all kinds of dried fruits mm. let's go into the palate guys At 51.2%, it does give you a little bit of the alcohol, just a little bit of that sting. Not much. Leather again. Old leather books. Again, dried fruits, dusty dried fruits. Syrupy, thick, lots of mouthfeel. Little bit of a sulfur note. Not heavy. Just 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 a touch of a sulfur note in there. For me it don't bother. Some people would bother. More of that fruit compote. Excuse me, whiskey perp. Another sip. Hmm. Never so much a touch of that sulfuriness, but it's not detracting or debilitating this at all it's just just a little linger of it mm. i love the way it hangs around a second sip you don't notice the alcohol i just hadn't had none a couple three days and probably just stood out for me for a second 51.2 percent you don't really get a lot of it <clears throat> a universal measuring device for in the field We're just going to add a little bit of water. Because they ain't got much left in there anyway. He was quick. <clears throat> electric man's already leaving. Economy electric. <laughs> the, the finish is excellent. It sticks around, lays around. Stays on the side of your tongue. It's on the back of your tongue. Sides and back of your tongue. It is a little bit drying toward the end of the finish. <clears throat> That's probably a Oloroso. It doesn't say which kind of sherry is in it, but I'm thinking probably Oloroso in this case. Man. The fruit flavors just are amazing. And the water helps. <clears throat> a little bit of water helps this open up quite a bit. Oh, the fruits become a little more fresher in scents. The peach now. A little fresh peach thrown in there with that water. Still get the dried fruits, but there's a little freshness added to it now. Mm. 
a little bit more of the spice shows up. I get some cinnamon now. Getting everything I got before. The leather is probably dialed back just a touch. But now I'm getting a sense of cinnamon coming through that I did not get before. Nice cinnamon note. Guys, it hangs around. I like this stuff. As you can tell, I've drank quite a bit of this bottle. I think maybe Scott of Scotch Test Bummies. <laughs> I can't even talk. The Scotch Test Dummies had a dram off of this. Uh, I don't recall what he thought. I don't think it wowed him too much for him, but he's a Sherry King anyway. But for me, I like it. <clears throat> it was over a bill. It was a little over 100 bucks for the bottle. But I don't think I got hurt in any way, shape, or form buying this bottle. I think this bottle was worth it. Just gives you a little bit of that. Oh, slightly sulfury that bleeds sort of a little bit into a minerally note there toward the end of the finish right there just now. But again, nothing detracting. It just kind of coalesces over your over your uh, taste buds. I enjoy it. Enough talking about it. I'm going to give it a score. Uh, I'm going to give it an 89 out of 100. I really like it. I think they've done a good job on this. I think they think this the, the flavors work for me. And I think that's important. Sometimes things can become disjointed. This is not a disjointed... Uh, somebody just throwing some Ben Nevis in a cask just to see what it would do. Mm -mm. This was a... Uh, this worked. This really worked. Uh, again, 89 out of 100. I ain't got much else to say. Going to enjoy the rest of the day out here at the lake. Maybe do a little fishing. A little, little uh, exploring. See what I can remember. It's been years since I've been here. So with all that, I'm going to sign off here. Remember the spirit and glass ain't running from you. Take your time, sip and enjoy it. You'll be better for it, as will we all. And if you should happen to see a bottle of this, or any Ben Nevis for that matter, it's got a little age in it that's been... That's been uh, matured and sherry. And it's worth a chance. It's 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 worth a uh, it's worth a shot. And I don't think you hurt yourself. Anyway, that's all I got to say. I'll see y'all later.